y'all raise it with it. In a i
song we have right now, Fanny? We've heard a song that we chose. I don't mean I'm in possession. Guys, I don't miss the DJ to be to be the shit. Do we not see the whole chain? Oh, my God. 
a man that has touched us all in different ways. To us all in the room, we say a big welcome. To those watching from over the seas, we've got people watching on Zoom, there are people in China, in South Africa, in Zimbabwe, in Australia. We say to you all, welcome and thank you for joining us live. Now I know you can't see them, they can see us, um, but we are happy. And to show that it's a true international event, we shall be mixing several languages, uh, Sean, English and many others that the good man himself can speak, just to make sure that we hit a point home. So if any time we change languages, it's because we want to try and communicate or hit a point home to anyone that's listening, most likely online, and to try and hit a point home. Before we move any further, we're not expecting any fire drills in the event of a fire alarm. Please be aware of the main door that we used to come in with. There's no other door anywhere else and where we go to is the far end of the car park in the event of an emergency. If you'd like to know where the bathrooms are, the toilets, just make your way out to the double doors. To the immediate right is the ladies, and as you go further out is the gents on the left. Having said that, I'd like to uh, start this evening with an opening prayer before I say anything else, before I introduce anyone else. As you know, Maritania is a devout Christian. So again, to make sure the flavor is truly international, we've asked somebody all the way in Zimbabwe to give us an opening prayer. This, by the way, is uh, his second born. Can I ask Pastor Denise, are you there? Talk about opening prayer. Pastor Denise. Uh, very good evening. I'm listening to. Um, I'm not too sure if you can. We certainly can hear you. It's crackling, but we can hear. Oh, you. great! Very good to everybody. Um, a warm welcome. I know I'm um, just with the opening prayer, but if you can allow me to and just say a few words. Um, my name is Pastor Denise uh, Benyangirazi or Pastor Denise Farirai Rudinyangirazi, as other people would know me. Recording in uh, progress. Um, I am Mr. Rudinyang's uh, daughter, and, um, you know, I didn't want to get straight to prayer, but whilst we were waiting when we were on the Zoom platform, the videos that were going on, and um, I felt really touched. I, I shed a few, dropped a few tears um, because of the great man that my father is. Um, and I'll just like thanks to that and thank the organizers at Arm and everybody else behind the scenes who made this day possible. Um, if you could please bow our heads as we go into prayer. Babati no yapa mbili piti garo chini chini asha madeko na nasi babati chitenda babati tukuichi babati chatunga niza se hamani shama babata bata na baba we are here together as father as friends as family as we celebrate the life of Jesus we celebrate the achievements of our father our teacher our mentor our guide our brother our uncle Kingston Redeya Father we thank you Father for this joyous occasion. We thank you, Father, for you are in it, my Lord. We thank you, Father, for your hand upon it, my God. Father, we thank you for the gift, Father, that you put in him, my Lord, that has made us gather today to celebrate, my Lord. We thank you for purpose, Father, that has been fulfilled through the life of Kingston today, my God. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, we bless your holy name. Thank you, 
I should have said, um, Pastor Denise, can you give us a nice, quick, short opening prayer? But all the same, thank you for your nice uh, prayer there. So my name is Sox from Team to Sox, and I work with my colleagues, uh, Timmy the DJ and Chico, who's our manager. Give us a big wave, Chico. Right there, that's our manager there. And so uh, we have to do on our best behavior this evening as we work uh, very closely with him. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. Friends and family, a nice round of applause if you can for the man, the reason we are here. Thank you so, so much. Mushauno Atiri Ausuwebu, so I'm going to invite uh, Rasta Tumba, who is the, the chairperson of the Zimbabwe Catholic Community in England and Wales, Luton branch, to uh, welcome us into this um, location, this venue. Rasta Tumba.
<laughs> also, my dad, <laughs> my father. Can I just shake your head? Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is. Now, anyway, some the few a few months ago, um, I was. Um, Oh, actually, uh, oh, it's a few years ago, I met his dear wife at a funeral, and uh, I kept accusing her of being someone else, that she resembled somebody. So anyway, I kept saying, are you not so-and-so? And she said, no, I'm not. And then he, she was with her mother, luckily, and her mother said, why don't you just tell this lady your name? She's been <laughs> all night saying, you know, you are somebody else. She said, my name is Mrs. Rudenia. And I said, oh! I said, we had a great, great teacher at Boromonzi who was called Mr. Kingston and then I said, that's my husband. I said, oh my God. Anyway, long story short, that very night I had a few words with say, and the next day we had like a five hour marathon conversation. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm probably not the only one who had these long conversations with say. And we were catching up on many, many, more than 40 years of uh, Boromonzi days. Now, I've always said to friends and family, you know, we, you know, education, we were told that Goromonzi, my Goromonzi colleague group, uh, are feminists, that we were told that education is that which remains after all book work has been forgotten. But we never forgot Mr. Udenya because he made that education that he taught us very uh, memorable, fun, and you know, it sticks in our minds. There are many, he taught us is maths and science. And I would like to say, I was one of his good students. Wow. If truth, <laughs> <laughs> back then, back then. And if truth be told, I'm probably his favorite student ever. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> uh, the thing is though, he had the way of teaching. He had the passion in his work. He wasn't just doing it as a job. You, we could all feel that. We all knew that Say was really teaching. He wanted the advancement of you know us black people, especially in Zimbabwe, it was Rhodesia then back then. So you really did your job. He went the extra mile. In psychology, they talk about being a good enough parent, good, good enough mother, good enough father. You were to us more than a good enough teacher, much more than a good enough teacher. You did your job well and beyond. So anyway, as I was talking to some colleagues around the world, saying, ah, I'm connected with Say and what have, and the, explaining his situation now is visually challenged. And they said, what can we do for Say, for all that he did for us? So what started out as a very small idea, mushroomed into a big thing, hence we are here today. It is my great privilege that, you know, and I know that if we had had a lot more time to plan this, uh, there would have been more people here present. There's even somebody I was said to hear, he was planning to leave just a few days before this, but his uh, journey was already planned, he couldn't alter it. But I know from around the world, I know from speaking to my colleagues that, you know, uh, they are all here in spirit. Uh, I want to thank at this point as well, especially my Udenya, every home has its mother and she's been, she supported us. When we came up with our idea, she supported us very much. And all the Udenya family, I want to thank you. And the, all those Goromonzi colleagues, friends who have, I'm, I'm, one of them is Evelyn here, I'm not the only guilty one. <laughs> and there's Joyce here as well. And uh, there's somebody else from Goromonzi who I can't remember where he is sitting, but we, we really, I want to thank you all, you've done much more. I'm just like him. You know, they see me short, they think I am little one. But they, they put me in this position of being the spokesperson, but I'm really, there's a lot of people around me who do this. And we really wanted, as has already been said, that you know, it's, it's a great privilege to be able to celebrate our lives 
and not you know saying great eulogies after somebody is gone. We wanted to show our appreciation. Say not just Goromonzi, but Highfield where you started your teaching career. Then you went from to Kempiko to Goromonzi. Then you went to Chikore. Then you went to Harare High where I believe you met your dear wife. And then you went to um, Mufakose too where you retired from. So enjoy this day and know that in, it is planned by God. It's planned, you know, uh, for your highest, 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 uh, what can I say, acknowledgement of your contribution to this world. Thank you, sir. So, I'm not too sure if I should refer to you, Mukwasha Wangu, as Sir. <laughs> we'll deal with that later. Um, but he, he's a man of, uh, of influence. Uh, some here, some directly, some indirectly. He has a lot of richness that I'm sure we'll get to share and you get to know as the evening goes. I mean, things like, for example, you might not have known about this, but the very first tennis court that was ever built in the southern part of Harare in Mfakose, it was thanks to him wow. that we had it. Wow. And tennis in Zimbabwe is where it is, but this roots, where it comes from, has always been from Mfakose High where he was instrumental in making sure that the first tennis courts were built at the school that he was leading. There's a lot more to talk about. We've got so many international tennis players, but he touched their lives in one way or the other. There's a lot to share. It's just a moment of celebration. Um, I want to hear a little bit more about his life history. So I'm not qualified to talk about that, but I believe Tete Sambani is qualified more than enough to give us a little more about his life history. Tete, talk about the community. The uh, life. <laughs> Ennis, Rudenia. 
He was born in, in Zivute village in Mangwene, Mrewa district. At an early age, he was a very smart boy, as you can see him now. Energetic and young man. He was very, very obedient and did take assignment that he was given by the parents and the grandmother without any hesitation at all. His education began at St. Clair and Rewa. From there, he went to Bernadine Zek, then Gorobozi Second School, after which he went to Wedelav Marondera for training. In all years of his progression to this level, he was very well known for his intelligence and integrity, as you shall hear from those giving testimonies spanning his career. In our family, he is known as the encyclopedia <laughs> because everyone seeking information about family history culture, biblical knowledge will be furnished to the four. What a fantastic memory is God. We all love him. We respect him very much. Now, the saying goes, behind every great man there is a great woman. I would like to... <laughs> Congratulate my sister in law, Mrs. Odeya Senior. <coughs> she has always been there for him. I am very proud of you, Angelina. Thank you, Very, very proud. Very, very proud indeed. And indeed, the whole family as well. Last but not least, I want to give thanks to the ex students for this great honor and appreciation you have shown to my brother. Some forget, but you have remembered, and that has touched our hearts. Amen. May God bless you. Thank you very much for your wonderful speech and reflection on the uh, speech that he uh, history of uh, the firstborn encyclopedia. <laughs> and in fact, to uh, just to confirm what you mean when you say the family referred to him as an encyclopedia, there is uh, he, he has been quoted exactly as that in a book written by one uh, Mr. Athanasio Zadabu. And wow. in that particular book, I quote exactly as was said in the preface, the first part of the book, in reference to him. I will say it exactly how it was written, and then I'll try my best to translate it. He said, Uyumurume uyu, ane hudzamu, weumtubisiso, emaitiro, emashona. That's what was written in the book. In simple translation, this man has great depth in understanding and appreciating the way the life of the Shona people and you call him an encyclopedia. That's who the man is left. Not him. The man is also deeply spiritual and uh, again I qualify not to speak about his spiritual life so I'm going to ask uh, Baba Bakasa to give us uh, a bit of history on uh, Mr. Redenia's spiritual history.
with anyone and everyone in our community and beyond with the aid of WhatsApp and Zoom technologies he is able to reach far and wide. He shows humility and perseverance in equal measures which make him a very effective teacher, counselor and preacher. As far as the scriptures and Bible knowledge are concerned, he is a man with a vision, a man who can see further than tomorrow. In fact, he has brought sight to many who are religiously blind in our community and beyond. He stands out as a beacon of hope in our society. From his teachings and preaching the word, many in our society have become more prepared to meet their maker. Some call him pastor, some call him apostle, but he, he, he doesn't accept all those titles because of his humility. My children happily call him Mudarama Baby. <laughs> he encourages us to keep learning and praying without ceasing. He too is an example, gives an example, he keeps learning. He reminds me of Professor Walter Kamba's advice. If we all remember, Professor Kamba was the first uh, black uh, vice chancellor at the University of Zimbabwe. And I quote what he said A man who graduates today and stops learning tomorrow becomes uneducated the following day. And therefore, Zimbabwe cannot afford uneducated graduates. End quote. Kingston has made an immense contribution to the teaching and understanding of the Bible and scriptures. Here, we have a retired teacher who has never stopped teaching, a retired headmaster who still heads various activities in our community here, a retired leader who still leads us in our local communities. Here is a man who has dedicated his life to helping others to know God. St. Paul once said when he was writing to the Philippians, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. You find this in Philippians 4, uh, verse 18. Things will seem to be fully inspired by this verse, judging by the way he works, judging by the way he asks everyone who wants to know the Bible and the scriptures. Surprisingly, I never met Kingston at home in Zimbabwe. Sometimes, you know, God places individuals in your spiritual life path. Some individuals obstruct you or lead you away from Christ, and yet some individuals are God sent to shape, change, and add richness to your spiritual life. Such has been my experience with Kingston. Kingston is a renowned teacher, leader, counselor, and advisor. Zimbabwe is a lot to thank this man for. There are many individuals here who can adequately chronicle the contribution that Kingston has made in education in Zimbabwe. But I shall not attempt to go there. I consider Kingston as a great Christian friend whose influence on my life, on spiritual life, <coughs> Priceless. This interpretation of the Bible and the scriptures has truly opened my eyes and deepened my faith. I am forever grateful to God for this man. And there are many in our society who share the same sentiment with me. In our general discussions, he can describe any place in Zimbabwe. He can explain in detail the roots to all those places, describing any structure found on each route, some of which might be no more existing because of obvious changes. I would like to thank Kingston's wife and family for allowing him to minister and share his faith and knowledge of the scriptures with not only me, but others as well. God bless Kingston and his family and all you gathered here tonight. I thank you all Asan is on.
But Maru Tenya managed to succumb all that. Why? Because of his personality. He would be able to interact with my comrades. He would be able to interact with my soldier. He would be able to interact with the community. Fungot Munaba Muarari, yes, he was born and bred up Kwamreo. But Kuchikore, all most of us, we know where it is. But he managed to live there. And it was during the Zimbabwe liberation struggle. Then he transferred to Harare after the war. That's where he met his beautiful wife. He taught his wife, he was here, and uh, some of the people who were here as well, they were taught, they were taught by Harare. What more can you ask? Finally, he was moved to Mfakos, I too late 1980s until he was medically retired. What uh, he That's all I can say today. Hence, today, the former students of the schools have come together to honor their great teacher, their headmaster, Varu Denya. On behalf of your students, Ah, don't go to chasing at this okay. This is my own Thank you so much.
song was played. If you listen to the lyrics, Mapurisa, there was some Purisa that we knew. There was a man that we knew that was almost as good as a policeman. The man was a disciplinarian. And uh, Tairo, are you, 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 Now, Mr. Mutena. Uh, so the man has been to different uh, schools, like we've heard. He's touched so many students. I did say some are in the room and some are online. I think it's only fair that we have a bit of a, a switch and we get to hear from the students themselves exactly how he was able to impact uh, their lives. So I'll be uh, talking to some students in this room and some at the end uh, just to make sure that we are able to link up with everyone. And I'll start with the students that he met when he was a teacher at uh, Highfields, uh, Highfields High. And I'm going to ask just two people uh, to give us a very few words, basically giving us the experiences um, with life being led by Valentin. The first I'm going to ask to come to the front is uh, Mrs. D. Satumba, who was a student at uh, Highfields. I'm sure I'm not um, very qualified to give the speech because there were some who were lined up on Zoom. Um, I'm sure they will be coming up, they will be contacted soon. I wasn't in Mr. Dinya's class as such, but I attended Highfield High School and because of his influence, he knew me. <laughs> not because I was not <laughs> but he used to ask me if he saw me loitering in the corridors if I knew that there was a library at his school. <laughs> Love 
was so personified and he had an intimate relationship with each and every student. He is such a sharp man. When I visited Mr. Denya here in the UK, and upon introducing myself, I was stunned by how he remembered very intricate details of me, such as my mother's totem, our house in Jabavu Drive, Hyphens. It left me in awe to this day. The fact that Mr. Rudenia is a phenomenal man cannot be overemphasized. I'm so happy that we have come together to celebrate him this way. He indeed deserves to be crowned whilst he lives. Indeed, the world would be a better place if there were more people like you, sir, selfless and caring. Teaching was not only a job for him, a task to be nearly completed so that he can catch money at the end of every month. It was a calling and a passion. I salute you, Mr. Rudenia. Thank you for leading by example and for selflessly calling yourself and for your investment in the education sector. You are a star, indeed a man of great insights. Thank you very much. Thank you uh, very much, my Satumba, for your wonderful, uh, your wonderful words. It's interesting how she starts by saying, I wasn't prepared to speak, and then she brings a book with nine pages of her speech. <laughs> she even said at the very beginning, um, I wasn't naughty, but I'll be found loitering around the school. Yeah. I won't say much more. Can I invite uh, Evelyn for Bajana to give us a few words, please? Went to Koromans High School and was related and therefore got away with a lot of uh, stuff that I got away with. <laughs> Everything has been said about the men, it's not much more for me to repeat. But just to think that he gave us a great foundation. I, I don't think there's anyone that was taught by him that felt to be somebody in life. Even when he came to the UK and made the head career changes. As long as he was certified from Goromonzi, he had all the qualifications required. So you were safe. So thank you for the opportunity for what you helped us to be where we are today. Thank you for helping us to be who we are today. 
Gold. I was very connected to Mr. Videna by Mary Gold. A few years ago, I came to see him coming from all the way from Scotland. Well, my daughter told me. Uh, who is now a teacher in maths. Uh, Mr. Videnia was super impressed. Uh, and gave me some advice that she uses up to date. I wanted to thank Mr. Videnia for what he's helped us with. And when they light a note, and he must say he did not know. That's why he was called the encyclopedia. He used to know who Daruda Nanani is. Yeah, he was dead. He knew everything like that. I never connected with Taiwan. I never that we used to hide. He knew all about it. Taiwan, that we forgot to buy this much of my tobacco. Oh dear. Thank you so much, Mr. Daniel. I'm going to show you a sharp memory. Joyce Kali over there was about to speak in a few minutes. I wanted to call her. I had to call me first. Where do we start from? What do I say when I speak with her? Joyce. <laughs> Joyce, call him first and then speak to me after. <laughs> Joyce, you me back in that <laughs> I'm uh, He has not forgotten anything about me. <laughs> There's nothing to know about nobody. <laughs> in your own situations and what we were up to, a few months ago, I went to the hospital for a knee replacement a few months ago. You would call me and pray for me. So we are ever so grateful. And the Lord continue to use you to continue to be a blessing to other people. We say thank you so much.
But in that camera, I cannot know what you know what this is what we call wonderful works of God. We teach no for praise, but I have a school kids, we are to film the sun. We are what we are today because of Shataka Rutito was Kapiwa, Tilku Goromonzi. Because from Goromonzi, the Kwanaku Foundation, Tosu Ita Makosi Ebu, Tosu Ita Kuma University, Tosu Ita Jesse, but to Pesi Koko, Wakatanga Kuna Mr. Abidene. And the number is not tender. Meds, biology, the Makati Fundisa, Takashanda, Zerubu Shanda. We are just here in UK teaching Farah Shakanaka because Pataka Papachi Kukure as to not tell a good Mr. Dania and Panaka Tauranago, Bakandinam, Bakandi Paul, Fisher, and Luna, and put in a pet of Taranaga. After speaking to him, he gave me a verse. To that, you just say thank you. Thank you so, so much. This is just a really gratitude that I can ask you to Without you taking an IT in anything, until finally, let's not go into this one. Thank you so much. So, after having gone to uh, Goromonzi, he served with other schools as well. Chikore uh, School is also where he worked. I'm not sure if we're just having a quick glance and to see if uh, Mr. Mponda is live on Zoom. I'm not sure if he is, so what well, we're just trying to see if we connect with him. Uh, I'm privileged to be here right now because uh, the man you see seated there is a true legend. <coughs> My happiness is seated on two portfolios. One is a student and the other one on a social platform. But anyway, I'm not going to dwell much on what my student life has been. I think it has been covered by my sisters over there from Goromonzi. I want to dwell a little bit on social life in which is a true leader. Uh, I think the majority of uh, us have learned quite a few or more on the religious aspect. But I myself, when I left Goromonzi, I, I thought, uh, well, I'm a student and uh, I met him then, I think on two or three occasions in Zimbabwe. And then I came here and when I eventually met him, uh, the roles then suddenly changed because I was a student in Zimbabwe, but here in the UK, I'm now his father in law. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, um, he said to me, uh, Gabriel, I need to apologize for the treatment I gave you at Koromonzi, if you still remember. <laughs> well, uh, I said, I think, Bibles are Bibles. Um, and again, I want to allude to what Mr. Soko said about him from Papose. Um He said he is the first one to have put up a tennis court in Fakose. In Boromonzi, he also did wonders. Uh, very few Zimbabweans maybe are aware that cricket used to be played at Goromonzi. But uh, since he left that school, uh, no one ever took up that sport, even the teachers. So you can imagine the death that went through all students. And some couldn't, they were ardent uh, participants in cricket. And some of us wept when we came over. Um, in, during second term to learn that he had been transferred because we knew we were not going to participate much in cricket. So this is why I call him a legend. He is a legend in many aspects of life and I wish him all the best and I wish my Rudena, my daughter, all the best for organizing this with the family. I really feel very proud. Thank you very much.
and I can attest to that. I too eventually went to Koromonzi, and yes, there was no cricket. Instead, there was chess. That we played. <laughs> now, uh, you did ask for that one minute thirty-seven seconds and counting. No pressure. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I just wanted to uh, say, say, I've got two uh, apologies and one confession. Uh, first of all. Uh, I did say I may be his favorite student, but we know he's a very good father. Like any good father, he loves all his children equally. So I take that back. The reason I also say that is while we were very good uh, friends in class, uh, academically, but he was also my house master and I was a Mackenzie. Mackenzie, we had four houses. Mackenzie, Helmo, Moffat, and Stuart. Now, Goromont, it was known in those days, Mackenzie students did very well. It's only now that I, I well, in recent years, that I learned the connection between mental functioning and physical action. So he was our house master. So in class, we would be good friends. Maths and science, I knew very well. I listened attentively. But I was very, not very strong person. So, uh, sports-wise, I could sprint, just about sprint 100 meters, but not that wretched <laughs> cross-country. So, I could not run cross-country. But fortunately, there were people, one particular girl, Esther Kache, who had, who had a plan one day. She had uh, arranged with the guys who were to give us the battles we were supposed to then take back to say we've passed all the posts for cross-country. But we would have taken a shortcut. This particular day, the village dogs decided to <laughs> chase us. That day, I ran. <laughs> and I ran. And I could smell blood in my mouth uh, when I went and fell into Sarah's hands. Say, please forgive me. The dogs were upset. This time, anyway, I got punished. But confession number one is that, well, this is only one confession. The punishment you gave me was fairly lenient because you knew I wasn't very strong. I think it was five or ten wheelbarrows of black soil from the river dam or whatever. I did not do, I only did one wheelbarrow. The girls, <laughs> to you girls who knew me very well said, I've done mine which I haven't spread out yet. Just show them those and say they are yours. So I confess. Um, second confession. Just um, when my life was, I was at a low last year after this pandemic. And I said, what can I do to cheer myself up? And I, my children egged me on and my grandchildren said, you should go on countdown. I love countdown. So I appeared on countdown. It's a quiz show. I, while I did very well with the words, in 30 seconds of max, say, even though it taught me very well, uh, I only, well, I think I tried well, but I didn't do this well. I will go back again just to prove that I do know my maths. When I'm at home, I get those numbers in half the time, but not that day. And I just want to say also, you know, um, you, I do listen to all the words of wisdom you pass on to us. And uh, I just want to end by quoting, um, I'm not a very as religious, as uh, spiritually uplifted, I'm on the way. But I would just say to Timothy, Timothy, <laughs> to Timothy 1, verse Seven, I think it says, God gave us a spirit not of fear but of courage. And I'm trying to be brave, you know, the life um, hurdles I faced in my life. So thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Again. I can assure you with a few more glasses of wine, we'll hear a few more confessions coming out of that. <laughs> so, yes, uh, there were different hostels, Mackenzie, Helmo, and, and as you said. And then when you left for uh, months, by the time I went there, we had Soko, Mofu, Mutapa, Chaminuka. They became our hostels after those fancy names. I'm not sure if you might have had any influence in that, I'm not too sure. We've got two people that are lined up to speak from Zoom. Can we go through to them? I know many of us are hungry. The idea is to go through all the speech, then we can eat and dance the night away. 
Are we ready for our connections internationally? what others are saying uh, but uh, I would just want to say thank you, thank you for organizing this all the organizers the ex-students Goromonzi Mfakose Harare uh, this is Tsungai and unfortunately my husband Raymond is not able to join us today because of our uh, work commitments. Ray and I were at Goromonzi in the same class in Form 3 and 4 and Mr. Denya was our chemistry teacher. So before we all came together we were just chatting with others and I said one thing that Mr. Denya taught me uh, which up to today I'm still using is how to balance chemical equations. And up to now, oh, it's, it's awesome. When I actually do it, I always remember him. He was my teacher, yes. He was our sportsmaster. Uh, both Ray and I were in Mackenzie. Um, that part of it I didn't like, but you know what? Uh, when he said, okay, now we are going for a warm-up, and he said two rounds, oh my goodness. I was just like, oh, two rounds, and he will be behind you. So it was not just saying, okay, you guys go, do the two rounds, he was there with you to show you that it could be done. And you know, even for some of us who were not, not athletic, ah, we learned to be athletic because of him. He built our intellectual capacity. I think for all his ex-students, that's why most of us are where we are right now. He instilled a lot of discipline into us and honestly up to today my husband and I there is no week that passes by before we talk about Mr. Rudenya whom we affectionately call Baba or Daddy. So up to now we are still calling him that and it really means a lot to us. So besides uh, being our mentor, our teacher, uh, and teaching us everything that you would want a whole human being to, to be, later on in life, and I think the least that he expected was seeing us coming to him when we were looking for a place for our son. For She's our almost son. finished. And that She's almost was finished. The first time we met, uh, we have been trying to to ask around to find out where he was, and I was so happy when I I was invited to this Goromons group, and then. All of a sudden, oh, they have a function. And I just joined the group like two weeks, two weeks ago. And I said, definitely, I will be there. We are happy you are here. Thank you so, so much for being here. It's an absolute pleasure that you've joined us. And I think that uh, the Goromonsi students have so much passion to speak, but they've taken the dance floor. They've taken the microphone. So from now onwards, we will have to ban the Goromonsi students because, yeah, they have a lot to say. I, I know we are hungry, there's just one 
more speech. I really want you to have. The other one from Zoom, you'll speak later because uh, she's just taking your time. But there is one particular student that I think we need to hear from before we go and we have some food. This particular student is special. This particular student has been there all throughout to, to, to where we are today. I think it's only important before we have any food to hear from this one particular student from Arare High School. If you are here, if your name is Angelico Vitenia, please get me come and we can hear from you. My sincere apologies. Dinner is going to be saved a bit late. I know we are hungry. So, DJ said there's no way we're going to have food before Harare speaks. Harare is on the map. Koromozi, you took so much time. We were a bit jealous. Amusi Benga, Mamuri, my students are saying. So, I'm going to talk in my capacity as student, as ex student, and also as Osi Yemusha. Before I start, I want to pay tribute to students, ex-students, who have departed. The, there is a distinct name of Dr. Colin Warambwa. I think he was Goromonzi. Dr. Warambwa, when he realized that Daddy has been medically retired, he took upon himself to be our family doctor. But Dr. Warambwa went quietly, may his soul rest in peace. And all other students who have gone. Every day, it's either it's a Harare day, it's a Goromonzi day, or Chikore day, Eiffel day, you, he speaks of his schools every day, and I think today brings close to that, Mr. Rodea. Today marks the end of Today marks the end of all that. Every day it's a high field or Chikore or Harare High. Now, as a student, I was always late because I used to stay in Glenview and transport was so difficult to get to Harare. You know these schools like Goromonzi, Harare, during Rudija, only bright students would go to such schools. And so we were privileged. I was one of them. And all those Goromonzi, high field ones, it was all bright because we were selected as the best. 12 units from grade 7 and below, you, you, you would get a pass. And so I was one of them. So I was always at the school gate when the headmaster was there with his prefects, and I was always punished. Enough of that. As ex student, as Harare, we formed a court WhatsApp group 1979 to 1982. And we said we need to pay back to the school. And we said, what project can we do for the school? We had various ideas. One was the ball. And we said, when we put this ball, what headmaster's name can we put in memory of? And every student said, Mr. Kingston Rodenia. Not because I was now Mrs. But I think he has got some charisma within him that makes students like him. But that's not how I liked him. I think he got attracted with a smile. <laughs> and, the, and that became my destiny. And so, Mantu Watete Machitaura, Wakati Angelini Tinokuda, you know I'm respected. <laughs> I'm Buya. Steve calls me Buya. Where are you? And Steve has brought a tin full of joyful, um, joyful rice of uh, what do you call it? 
jollof rice from Nigeria. That's Steve. He's doing it for his Ambuya. Um, my guru. Um, um, Amai. Dinonzi Amai. And the rest who call me Do was here, Musha. Madwati is the first in the family. So I am also the first Amai in the family. And I'm so proud to say I look after them very well. Yeah. Enough of that. I just want to say thank you. Acknowledgements. That Mary God is, is terrific. And so that with an Egoromonzi thing, there's nothing like a Goromonzi thing. It has to be a Harare, a high field, a Chikore thing. And this is how we have coordinated. Let's put hands together for Harare High that has decorated this world together. Let's put hands together for Mufakose that have provided all these cakes today. And that many you are seeing there, that's Goromon's thing, the video man. Yeah, they brought him to cover the function. It was high field. Wow. I'm so proud to be mother of all these children. DJ, who are you? Who's the one I am? Don't you think you're a one who? Who's the one who got it? We have too much. Then you will enjoy it. Let's dance and we will have dinner. There's, there's this song that's important. When the song plays, things happen. Yeah. Mr. DJ. This song is only for the lady. Watch what happens. <laughs>
and I'll say a bit more about that in the song that's coming through. We'll have just one more speaker who's been waiting all evening to connect with us. Hey, This is happening. But I will never forget the day I walked into your office and I was crying, asking to be removed from being an HOD of English department. <laughs> mm. It was too heavy for me, but you said in your own words, no, you are going to remain there. <laughs> And I remained there and I learned a lot of things just by being tormented by the teachers in the department. And we ended up being so much good friends. And my teachers are now, I can't forget them. All because you let me remain there. <laughs> um, I'm so happy that I was able to uh, work under you as a head master because you also were like a father to me, a brother, a sister, an aunt, my mother. Because of the way you listened to any problems that I, I came to you with. Not many people can do that. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Love, Mrs. Zawaira. We are standing here. Mrs. Zawaira. Brother Shaganaga, thank you for joining us all the way from Zimbabwe. Mufako say hi too. I didn't forget about you. It's suspicious to get here. I know you are here. Madam Abi, she's still here. Of course. Could be here from uh, from the side too. And uh, 
yes, as you know, say would catch those loitering around. <laughs> he was very good at that, and he never stopped. So, I know one day I was I was I wasn't the naughty one like somebody claimed, and I actually was that I was not a naughty one unlike my predecessor. But one day, I just I just had to go and pick a telegram from the post office, which was just a few streets away from school. And no one else was available to pick it. And so I sneaked out and went and successfully came back. And yes, went past the, the gate. And then as I was just about to pass the library and his office, guess who comes, who comes out? <sighs> Mbune himself. And yes, he knew me. And he goes, Shikete, Shikete. Well, I'm going to go to the name And yes, I was, yes, Oh, I need to re I need to repeat what used to do, what used to happen. I just need to give you a snippet. But this was always it was always fun when it was time for the houses and we had our drama time at the towards the end of the year, and we would always get somebody imitating Mukuru, Mukuru. and we had this particular guy in our stream who used to go and he used to imitate even the walk. So it would be, Jose, Kova, Nabari Kuti, Zeya. And you know what, the way that would come about? Because there were some who were loitering about the school at the wrong time. And as you would, if you were found loitering, Mukuru would just out of the ordinary come out of his office and just patrol the school. And as he walked on the corridors, you would also see little children running away. And then they would run and stop by the corners and start looking again. And no wonder Jose was being asked, <laughs> and the assemblies were always fun. And I remember um, at a particular time we had Mbune and a, a, a deputy who was called Ma, Mr. Makore. And Baba would go and, and then step on the podium, and then it would be like. To begin this assembly, we're going to start with a few announcements. And one particular day, we went on the assembly, and before Baba could say anything, you know what happened? There was this class that started the speech before he could do it. And it was always fun. And Baba has always been a father. He's a father. He remains a father. Even when I lost my biological father, he has always been there. He's there. He was a teacher then. He was a headmaster then. But now he's my father. And my counselor. And I appreciate that. He always, I need to make sure that whenever I get a call from him, I must have a Bible with me. That is a must. It's mandatory. It's mandatory. And um, I have, I should say, I thought I was good with the Bible. But no, heads off. A few years ago, I called him. I said, Baba, I'm going to Canada. And, oh, I should say our conversations are always two hours. And then he said, oh, you're going to Canada? I said, yeah. He says, oh, okay. Make sure when you go and you visit uh, Niagara Falls 
and then you need to see this one. It's because it's that river and what What? He says, yes, but don't worry, man. You go and see it for me and come back and tell me what is there. When I first reconnected with him after he left Mfakose 2 and after I had left Mfakose 2, I was very certain to find out that Baba was not, no longer seen. And I did not hide that. And it pained me. And I remember this call. I said, Baba, why? And his, his answer to me, it still resonates even now. He said, my daughter, you shouldn't be asking me why. And, and times in life, you don't need to look at why. But we need to get a better understanding as to where do we move from there. What is it? What lesson is God giving us? That was the other side of Baba that I had not had the privilege of when I was at school. I'm sure there's many more experiences as well. <laughs> Thank you. I think she's almost done. She's saying one more sentence. Yes, Perfect. I am almost done. I was Perfect. just going to say I got apologies from Mrs. Maposa. She really, really wanted to 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 speak and log on on Zoom. Unfortunately, she had to go to Zimbabwe agency. But she did send a message, and um, thank you, Baba. It's been a pleasure. It is a pleasure knowing you. And then there was uh, a student who then became a colleague who then became a family friend who then became a spiritual friend who is in this room today from student through all those journeys and this person has been trying to avoid speaking and uh, Chico would you come with me this person has been trying to uh, avoid speaking all evening even to a point where I must confess I did get a bribe but as you know I didn't even pick a bribe from someone else so no pressure can you find any man in this room called Mr. Madimu and find him and bring him back to the stage with the microphone do not let him be make sure you perfect
I said, well, I'm sorry, I didn't know the answer. So he passed on to the next one. And I thought I'd escape. And just before he moved on to the next one, there was a lightning-like hand that came across my cheek. And that changed my life. From that day on, I took science very seriously. And this turned me into the scientist that I am today. From my field, I also um, went to the teaching profession like him. And I was teaching at Loreto uh, Mission. And as you know what was happening those days, the rent was closed. And the Minister of Education said, we've got two choices, either go to Chikori in Chipinga, or you go to Zimbabwe. And then this man said, come here. He was in Chikori then. And one, Chikori was so far away, and there were so many stories about Chikori. Two, it was right in the middle of the war. I couldn't understand why you were saying, come here. But I trusted him, so I went there. It was fun teaching under him as a headmaster. Because it was, he had such good humor. He was nicknamed Jokiachu. Because while times were difficult then, he always found the funny side of everything. And he always ends up with saying Jokiachu. So he was nicknamed Jokiachu. But to cut the long story short, this man turned me into what I am. He became, apart from being a teacher and my headmaster, he also became my brother. And he's virtually part of my family now. And he also became the godfather of my son. So there's so much that I could share with you, but time won't allow me, and um, that's why I was trying to avoid it. But in short, I would like to say, Nendo, you did a marvelous job. You have changed the lives of so many people. All the people that have passed through you as students, as teachers who work under you, as sports persons, he's an excellent sports master, this man. Every school that he went to, it was known to be a top school in terms of sports, whether it's uh, athletics, whether it's football. He, he changed to focus high school from a, an unknown school to a top class school in Harare. And everybody knew about it. So, Mr. Daniel, he, you are a great man. And that's an understatement to say you're a great man. All the people here, I think, lots of people have said a lot about you. And I fully subscribe to that because I know you to be a great man. You did a marvelous job. You did a good, good job. And I, I pray to God that he gives, he gives you many, many more years to enjoy this life, at least to, to, to rest and, you know, have people around you like us who have actually come through your hands. God bless you. Thank you. We are about to start the party, we are about to turn a bit down, we are about to start enjoying. I know you knew that we said 10 p.m. on the invitation, but because you are right, whatever time you wanted, we will end whatever time we wanted. Harare High, Harare High is in the room. Someone from Harare High is about to say something, I believe. Harare.
Não, fui de comer. Não, porque é assim. Mas não pode falar, 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 não 1980, form 22. Yes, form 22. He was head street, very fierce. I remember. I was in the I was in the house. I was in the house. I was I was Everybody by name. I had four three siblings at the school, and two of my cousins just I share the same same name, but he knew us. He still does know us by name. Mm -hmm. So he's got such a sharp memory as well, uh, like someone, some, someone was saying. And he, he was a good head. He interacted with the community. He was a combare. He doesn't drink. He didn't drink at the time, I don't know, does he drink now? <laughs> he didn't drink, but my shabin is a mbada Do you know why? Because my teachers are actually My teacher can have disappeared by lunch. My friend, I go, my teacher, I go, 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 I he used to walk on that day that he knew my children were married to Sika. But he could never know that they were my kids. Some some naughty kids used to steal the books and sell them. But now, now, I don't understand why they take some of them and put them in the bag and stuff. He would go and identify his library books from there. So that's that's the sort of dedicated um head he was. Um. She said, I tell her wife what he said, most of the things. I live not far from him, I visit him. Um, my colleagues are, we've got about 43 of us now, a very group, our, our year only, 1979 to 1982. And then when we, when we stayed till 84, teach it So we are all there, 43 people. And sometimes they send a little token, and I'm always the messenger to go and deliver to, to our head. So I see him quite regularly, I talk to him quite regularly, and he always prays um, uh, whenever I talk to him. And like someone said, two hours, that's the conversations we have. If I speak to him on the phone, it's two hours on WhatsApp, or if I go around, so yeah, thank you very much. Um, I just wish you well, and I wish you many more years to come. You know, we haven't finished talking yet. Um, um, these are the. Yeah, girls from 1979 to 82. She ended up getting the head. We don't know how she did that. I don't know how she pulled that one out. No idea. She ended up getting the head. Can you imagine? Story for another day. Yeah, we can see people want to party.
Jesu wa Tajda Na speech tanzwa Now we want to party Yes Unendoro Sama nyanga Musika zinyoro nyoro La cheke tine la tariri Rezi musha ni muka La noita Jeku chika Jeku sherera Machukura miti Vendore inobaya Tinoti makoro koto nesu wa hili Na kupepira wenyu Urairizi Varairizi Wano sandula pasirose Wana Shakespeare Na wana Socrates Wakarana mama zama Makore afura Asina jino Uzamu weru zivo wawo Ne zivo yao Uchiri kuzizisa wakawanda Jimweche tezo Nemi unendo Nyama shisha Wana chilemba, wana mkoti, vejo matoke renika, varimi, varairizi, waka vomo kwe. Uye, haba yvede ngiki kuwanda kwao. Tinoti kwa muri, makoro koto. Ndisu, baba na amai simboti nzadaku. Waka watumila on 20 pounds ya wo. I would have loved to try and translate that, but I have no idea what was being said there. It's a bit too deep for me, so I'll skip that. And while we're there, just before we cut the cake and start the party, we're about to hear from the man himself. He will say a word too, but before he does, Shami Zingoro, sorry, Zingoro from Morocco, and uh, also from Kenya, have given us 200 pounds to celebrate this occasion. Chiquetero girls, that's patience in New Zealand and the Egypt from America. They were both your students from Fakose. They gave us 150 pounds. From Zimbabwe, Ngoma Fim and Kembo has kindly sent us a gift from money. 100 pounds. Shami Zimbore, who's also in Morocco, who was also your head boy, Kumfakosi 2, says thank you so much. That took the 200 pounds. Baba Nana Itzadabu, Waramunam UK, not only did they give us the 20 pounds, but also they sent a big cake. Mr. Frederick Kushata from South Africa, also from Arare High, sent 50 pounds. Highfields High, we thank you so much, they hired this hall. Mufako said too high, purchased the cakes we are about to have. Arara High School gave us the hall, the deco and the zoom links. Goromonzi got us the video of the day. A round of applause please if you can for all those people. Yes. And then it comes to Varu uh, Denya. We, we know Pamakura. We had a friend. Kwatiri Disekur. James Paraba. And Dibaba Vamaivedu, my Mabiza. Now, what's happening is the DJ is my Mabiza's son. I am my Mabiza's son by proxy. And Uyumus Sukuru Amaima Biza Chiko Liko. And he has joined the company Team Two Socks. Baba, we have gone all over the world, Paris, you know, but it was an absolute honor for us to be here. We had to make sure we are here as well. To not tell them, we are so grateful. And we thought we'd come and celebrate with them. not tell them, Jaiju. Now, having said that, before we cut the cake, I'm going to ask every single one of you to please stand. Every single one of you, can you please stand? If you may allow me to ask you to stand. Exercise is healthy after all. I can see the look you're giving me in the back corner there. Hello. Hold the baby, the baby is standing. The reason why I've asked you to all stand is because in any tradition, be it British, be it any part of Africa, when you're about to be addressed by a royalty. When they stand, 
the entire group stands with them. Only after they stand, you then take the seats that like you're about to do, except the person about to address us. And that is the man himself. Baba Unenoro. You may remain standing. So you can hear from the man, the legend. Oh, the man who was the
And when the gentleman, when the boy got there, he said he had no fees. And he said, my letter to you was an instruction to come to school. I didn't ask about the fees. So the young man attended um, school. Uh, and the young man rang or got in touch with uh, Sir Rudenia recently and asked if he had paid his fees. And Sir Rudenia refused to uh, give out the details of who had been uh, paying his fees. He simply said, I, um, if this has touched you so much, I then ask you to pay fees for someone else, as happened uh, to you. He then also thanked everybody who was in this room and those that were part of the organizing team for searching for him and finding him and organizing this event. He says that uh, our Lord who helps everyone else should be our focus. He thanked everybody, all of you in here, and then he didn't forget his wife, who he said uh, is now his eyes, as he cannot see. Others might have run a mile, but she has stood steadfast uh, next to him. He made mention of colleagues, marvelous, Mr. Bakasa, and other colleagues that he thanked. He made a brief recollection of the time as an educator during the war, and he made mention of that. And also he said that when you work, advice to one and all, when you work, you need to work as hard as you can for whoever you work for. And um, he said, look, we are not lawyers or doctors, but there are those who we have impacted in our lives who have now become doctors and lawyers, and they have now served us, so they will serve you as well, wherever you do help. You might not necessarily take their profession, but they will come around to help you. And then finally, well, not finally, he made mention of two young people, a friend Collins, that heard that he was now blind, he, that is, the sir was now blind, and Collins in Zimbabwe insisted, uh, instructed someone to go and stand by the gate of the church that he would very regularly visit and wait for someone who would then uh, was going to be escorted to church. When this person sent by Collins eventually got there and found Mr. Rudeni, identified who he was, he was invited home. And uh, as a matter of fact, Collins was in fact as a medical doctor and Collins went on to, well he said he would take care of all he needed and wanted in life. And Collins went on to take care of his mother, Mr. Rudeni's mother, um, medically um, at his own cost. He also made a recollection of a friend, Enoch Stoller, who was a doctor in Vuri, and again during the period of drought at some point back in Zimbabwe. This uh, good doctor would send monthly a bag of maize and funds to allow the grinding process to take place just to give the family some food. So he had many, he said many of these sort of recollections and he was quite emotional and thanked everyone and he said, I don't have much to give except just to ask you to continue praying and holding on to the Almighty as I do, and we'll be all led to where we are now. I think that gives you a perfect summary of what's just been said or what he said. There is a cake for every one of us. I'm sure we'll be invited to have a slice of the cake. I believe he's going to come around and cut the cake as well. Is that correct? The Samiras will do that. And as the Samiras do that, Tino, Blessing, Taku, can I ask you to come and give us a formal vote of thanks so we can have the cake and then the party, like I've been saying all along, can continue. Oh, well, Baxter, of course. Baxter, Tino, Blessing, Taku, Baxter. Good evening, everyone. Uh, uh, my name is Paxton. Um, Mr. Rutenda is my um, father. Um, this is one of the rare occasions that I have attended in my life where <coughs> students come together to thank their teacher. When we were growing up, I remember um, students used to say, well, if this teacher, if I meet him, I'm going to give him a big, a big hiding because there used to be a block I had with teachers most, almost all the time that well. They hated teachers and I think it's, it's a special occasion. I think for us as a family, for, for, for me personally, I think it's a, a deeply touching occasion. Um, I had prepared a speech as a vote of thanks, but unfortunately when I left home, 
the child who went to football and took the password for the tablet. So I just uh, had to. But the, the, good thing with this, the good thing with these occasions is you get to see a lot of things. Um, I didn't know that uh, our mother was punished by our father well, because of coming to school, get late or something like that. And that our, is this, our mother smiled hit our father so much that <laughs> And we, we also didn't know that, oh, Baba, you have so many names. Sel, Daniel, Mukuru, Mbune, Muzina Praz, Jokiach. On top of Yamasusa, Nendoro, Yandoro, or Babina Kangiri, but the Veronica Zuri is here with the Zenit, on top of that, you still have all these names, Baba. It's a commitment. I on behalf of our family, honestly, I want to thank you all very, very, very much from the bottom of my heart. I think um, DJ uh, Tim um, the Master of Ceremonies has mentioned all the names of all the people, the schools, Chikore, Mfakose, uh, Highfield, um, Harare High, Goromons, yes. And uh, Baba, those were not very, was uh, in any, fortunately or unfortunately, I went to Mrewa Secondary. I never went to any of those schools because the light in clips that I had here, I think I would have been one of those people at the end of them. So, but those were the schools that I did, and it was, they were some of the top schools. And you, so you were a cream of the cream. And I think it's, it's a big testimony, Baba, of what you did. I think all the people gathered here from all these big schools, some are doctors, some are scientists, some are historians and everything. So that it's, I think it's a big, big testimony of what you did. Um, as in any Baba, we is um, is because each time you call him on the phone um, to show that he's a family man, he starts off by saying, Muroro Makani. Not, ah, 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 but you haven't even asked about me. You're asking about Murora. Then he goes, oh, I know I can um, How are your brothers? How is Tom, CNO, and Canada? He asks about those people. And in this speech, each time you speak with him, he always, scripture, you always quote from the Bible. You put in science, but the Galatian, Nana Bansel, Bena, and all that. You put in philosophy, you put in history, you put in geography, and everything. It is almost an all rounder in almost all the, all, the, all, the, all, the, all the subjects that he taught. So it's really, to, to us as children, I think we have a, a very big responsibility now because. The standards that were set by our father and the feet that we are following in the Rudenia brand, I think it's really, really a, a big, big task for us. And for my brothers, sisters, children and grandchildren, we have a big, big responsibility to, 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 to maintain and to uphold that name, the values, the principles, the I, I was touched when he said that oh, he sat in the classroom and cried because one of the children had been expelled from school. It was very rare because teachers would never, uh, they would always find a fault in a child and say, no, he did the right thing, no, he had to go and things like that. But for a teacher to sit down. In the extended family, I had a, a chat with him not long ago, and he asked about all of them. He goes down, he has got an amazing memory. He went down asking about everyone, my late brother, his son. He wants to know where they are, what they're doing in life. And I just want to say, say, it's not only me, but uh, the Nofakos group yes. is the one that made me aware of this event. They're very proud of you. You have created many leaders 
than you will ever know. And some of them will be just trying to discover who you are and to get to know what you're doing today. And uh, I want to say on behalf of everyone from Fakose, on top of what my sister said, thank you very much. Anyone else who feels inspired to say a word? Going once, anyone else? Going twice, anyone else? Yes, almost sold. Uh, sir, sir, we don't can say things at any time. Oh dear. Oh, Bless yourselves. <laughs> this is, um, I just wanted to say that uh, some years ago, I turned 50, and on my 50th, we were looking for people to do the occasion. We approached Tim Sox, and because my name is not known, he refused. <laughs> then um, my brother, Ray, said, oh, I'll do the video. That was good. And then um, Biza said, I think they did another function. He said, ah, it's OK. I'll do it. Then we stuck the organizing team. They said, what do we do? Then I said, no. Arutenia is going to be the MC. Ah, Arutenia, but I am my guru. I have never done it. I said, you do it. And indeed, there's the MC. He was the first person there, dressed nicely, welcoming people. He did it with my uncle, Uncle Felix. The very day of the occasion, the dress, the dressmaker didn't, uh, you went to labor, my dress was in. Fortunate enough, you had another dress. And Gray lost his, you lost what? Your brother. Your, his brother. He had to fly to Zimbabwe. But uh, he, um, uh, the other team, he did very well. And when he came there, who was there? You saw him, you said, when he was there. So later, when uh, Sox had finished his uh, function, he's coming to pick up Tim. Who does he find there? <laughs> Aru Denya is there. The late whom we, you know, he didn't place the name to the face. I've never seen somebody, you know, as short as he is. <laughs> he almost went underground, but it's part of life. And since then, we have been meeting to functions, and there we are. So, it's in uh, two years' time, I will be turning 60. So, are going to be there. Thank you. If only I had known you were going to say that I would have asked you to speak. I close the dance there, the speeches. This is our vote of thanks coming in from uh, the family. This is for you. Ich habe mir die Ampel gekauft und bin mir ja kein
those that don't know me, I'm Tina Tenda Vedenia. Oh, thank you, Charles. Thank you. Jump back there, it's okay. I don't have many words to say. As he kukura mumba magazara matija. However, it's not an easy task. In a house full of teachers, that an easy task. Especially when you teach them in science, biology. I. Another one. It wasn't easy. Oga tu oga vauna mumsi zidula kuto somwe. Come from mom, can I have the homework done? Mom, so I tell them, you know, so you know, there are a lot of them who are not going to do it. You can't do it, then you have to go to dad, and it's even worse. But in the way it was done, I would like to thank this great man behind me, because the people who did not want to hear it, what do you want to hear about the truth? What do you want to hear? They ask me what my name is. I just want to hear about the truth. I don't say my name. I just say my name is Rudy. What do you want to hear? Which would they ask? Would they teach us? Teach us. That's my dad. And I'm born on the same. I say how is it? I'm born on the same. I was born. Most young people pay rent, but now I don't have any money. Yeah, that's me. All my drama is done. All my problems solved. It is like a get out of jail free card for me. I'm going to tell you now. See, my name is Rudy. Just say your name and get out of jail. For all the great works he has done, for all the great people who has passed through him. Whatever he has done is great, and I will forever appreciate, and I will forever stand behind him. I hope and pray that one day, myself and my siblings, to know Shika will get to this step that he is, and uh, even to be better than he done. That's what we wish. I'm going to take a glasses. I would like us to raise a toast. Everyone. Can we all please raise a glass? We've got uh, bottles of wine or anything that's uh, legally. <laughs> to, to this great man over here. Perhaps we might as well stand as you're about yes. to give a toast. It's always a good tradition to stand as you give a toast. After all, standing, like I said, is a. <laughs> Before I give a toast. Thank you for coming. My students, my teachers. Arare hai, hai fi, fangozi, kurumozi, chipini, you know, you name it, the schools are like this. I would like to thank you for coming and for appreciating the work. You get what I'm done. The schools always will stand here, we are products of that great work. And we will forever be grateful. To Mr. Kingston Virginia. To Mr. Kingston Virginia. with their big gifts that they wanted to give. If you can just hear what they are about to say. If I can have your attention one more time. And we present the gift to you.
know that our uh, father, Mr. Mutenia, is now visually um, handicapped journalist. So we have uh, managed to collect money from Goromoti students from all over the world, from Australia, America, Zimbabwe, South Africa. So we have got him a mobile phone, which uh, will be told is a uh, talk of uh, the rent, so that you'll be able to communicate with everybody all over the world. No excuse now. No excuse now. You can now call WhatsApp. You can now do everything that other mobile phones can do. So everything is there, the instructions and everything that you can to set it up. The party, one more time, kicks in. Thank you, thank you. That's it for
Jesus.